welcome to Phuket Extra. Today coming from Alpol Marina and this amazing Fountain Peugeot 40 foot power cat that's going to be used as the start boat for the multi-hull solutions regatta that starts next week. We'll speak to Andrew De Bruin about that a little bit later, but first to today's news. More than half of the 36 people who had close contact with the only confirmed MERS patient in Thailand have been released from state-run medical facilities after being given the all-clear following a 14-day observation period. The confirmed MERS patient, a 75-year-old man from Oman, has recovered. The Royal Irrigation Department has had the crystal ball out and predicts Thailand won't see good rain until the third week of July and the situation would gradually improve from August to October. That's the long-term forecast that's forcing irrigation officials to look into diverting water resources from rivers outside Thailand, like the Mekong and the Salween rivers. And the local internet melted down last night when the latest news on the Nemo Dolphinarium surfaced from the Phuket News. The planned Dolphinarium's opening plans were set back earlier in the year when the, the Department of Fisheries drew up a shopping list of things that needed to be fixed before any paperwork could be issued. The list included things like installing air conditioning, uh, raising the pH level of the water and the addition of a second pool. Well, it looks like the works are now completed and the building has been approved approved, making the opening of Phuket's first Dolphinarium one step closer. A few responses from the hundreds that voiced their opinion. One said, disgusting, don't bring this to Phuket. Wes said, boo, if they have any respect for these animals, avoid this place. Fingers crossed it never opens. Marcelo said, we will boycott that. Milo said, don't visit, boycott. Jamie said, absolutely disgraceful if this is allowed to operate. Benjamin probably had it right when he says boycotting won't make any difference when truckloads of tourists are being dropped off all day every day. The tickets will probably be included in the package they paid for before they arrive in Thailand. This really sucks. Maybe activism is the only way. We'll keep following that story because we know you want to know what's happening with the Dolphinarium in Chelong. When we come back, we'll check out the dancing cops and find out the latest with the 14 detained students, plus a quick chat to Andrew De Bruin about the multi-hull solutions regatta next week. This is Phuket Extra. Have you ever been refused a visa to Australia? Thinking of a visa for your partner? Call now. 076-612-550 or visit ausvisa.org. Our welcome back to Phuket Extra. 14 students facing seven years in jail for railing against the military government say they reject the military court's authority to prosecute them, according to their lawyers. The students remain defiant and demanded immediate release from the Bangkok Remand Prison, where they're being held since last Friday, for holding a political gathering in defiance of orders from the Thai government. Well, wondered where the police have gone? Some are participating in the Thailand Armed Forces sports event, including the police, the army, the navy and the air force. It seems these five should be uh, pleading guilty for busting their moves in the opening ceremony, all in full uniform. It all started ordinarily enough, then followed by the slightly inappropriate point the gun at the cameraman move, but then it all got loose and funky for the quintet, led by Parinya Jitakam. The sports event features com competitions from boxing to fencing and it continues all the way to Sunday. We've got the weather coming up, but first a quick chat to Andrew De Bruin. Uh, multi hull Solutions are the sponsors for the Al Shalong Yacht Club's multi hull Regatta coming up next week. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's Asia's premier multi hull only regatta. We've got an uh, uh, increased number of boats this year compared to last year. Last year was a roaring success. We had uh, 18 boats racing, and this year we're looking for somewhere up to 25, I think. Uh, and when we're talking multi hulls, we're talking about these like catamarans and trimarans that go a lot faster than the traditional mono hulled boats. Absolutely, and we've got a very experienced race officer who sets courses and uh, makes the boats work very hard. 
but allows for the, the catamaran's features for sure. And uh, it's not just the racing boats, you've also got like uh, cruising catamarans as well. Absolutely. Uh, last year we had uh, three cruising cats in their own division and this year we hope for more. We've already got four. Um, they have their own division and we're able to set uh, courses to suit the cruising boats so they won't be just going up and down the, up and down the course like the race boats. They'll be doing a lot more. And the contact for this? Uh, the contact is acyc.asia and you'll follow the link to the multi-hull solutions regatta there. It's going to be a fantastic uh, week and also this is the start boat so at least we know the starters are going to be doing it in style. Thanks for talking to us Andrew. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. And to the weather. 31 is today's top with a 20% chance of rain and wind coming in from the southwest. Looking forward to the rest of the week and we've got rain and thunderstorms as the week progresses. And when we head down to the west coast, we've got up to 0.7 of a metre coming in from the west as a primary swell. And the next low tide will be at 3.51 this afternoon, high tide at 9.40 tonight. The sunrise today was at 6.11am and the sunset will be at 6.48. Well, that's all we have time for for a rather extended Phuket Extra today. Hope you enjoyed the program coming to you from the start boat for the Multi-Hull Solutions Regatta here at Alpo Marina. Back again tomorrow, same time, same place.